Okay, so this is Akuma. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to do Twixter on Sony Vegas Pro and on After Effects. So the first thing you want to do is um, for scene like this is um, you want to check if it's suitable for Twixter. So you go free each frame along and uh, you check if there's big movements. A movement like these are fine. Uh, you can do Twixter on them. But uh, usually movements like these, where for example the water is here and the water is a few centimeters, meters, I don't know what you call it, away, and the characters have moved a lot. Now, uh, seeing like those are usually not suitable for Twixter, but you can still work with them in some cases. Now, since I see that this scene is fine for Twixter, uh, what you want to do is you go to properties. You disable the sample now. The main thing you want to do for SVP Twixter is you change the playback rate to 4 and you press OK. Now it's going to be a lot faster, but what you want to do is um, since we made it 4 times as fast, in Twixter we make it 4 times as slow. So, um, for example, here, so for things like this, what you want to do is um, if you want 100 speed, you do it 25. So since we made it four times as fast in the properties, uh, as you can see it's stretched. So you made it four times as fast in the properties, you want to make it four times as slow um, in speed. So if you want 100 speed, you do 100 divided by four, which is 25. Now make sure you copy my settings and uh, it's for example, sorry. Now you press save here and if you click off Twixter and then click back on Twixter, it will come there. So, um, back to the speed. Uh, on this scene, I want 25% um, of the original speed. So you do 25 divided by 4, which if I do in my head, that will be 6.25. Sorry, 6.25 and um yep so if you preview it now uh there will be little warps here and then but uh you can still work with it now um re remap on sorry i'll do remap later so let's do twix on this in again now uh, as you can see it's going to have warps well a decent amount you go to properties uh disable resample playback rate as four now it'll be a lot faster but it's fine so for this I'll do, since it's going to warp, I might as well make it faster um, I'll do 60% of the original speed which will be 15 here yeah. So 60 divided by 4 is 15 Now if we preview this uh, As you can see it's warping a lot Now this usually is not a very good thing to work with but since i cannot be bothered finding more scenes i will work with that now remap on scp um much harder than on after effects where you can still do it <laughs> so first thing you want to do is you want to um uh, animate speed of the button here i uh, press animate speed now um you go to start and usually I put 100 speed at the start, which 100 divided by 4 is 25. You go somewhere to the middle, <coughs> somewhere to the middle, and you make it uh, a much lower amount. So for this, I'll put 5. But sometimes what happens with an SCP is if you change the fades, the percentage will be a little bit of a glitch. So I usually put it at 7.5. Now you go to the end and Sometimes put 25, but um, it depends on how much scenes you have to work with. Now, if you preview it, it will be remapped. There we go. Now, uh, with longer scenes, it can be a bit of a problem. You run out of footage very fast if you remap the same way as I just did. Now, you want to press animate for speed. And you make it 25 at the start. Now, usually, what I do for longer uh, scenes is I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, frames and I make the speed uh, half the amount that it has. And I make a fast fade at the start. And I go to the middle and I put 7.5 like I do on the last scene. Or you put it low if you want. 
put some put lower. You do fast fade, so one, two, three, four, five, put um, half the amount, uh, make a fast fade, go to the middle, go one, two, three, four, five off the end, uh, make the uh, slow fade, and just make it 12.5 again. And the end, uh, sorry, um, I'll just smooth it to this one. Um, as you can see, there was a bit of a glitch in the audio. So we want to fix that by making the middle value higher. Seven point five will work fine. It glitched a little bit, but uh, just mess around with your settings until you find the problem. As you can see. Yep, there we go. Now, um, I'm just going to fix this up real quick. So the glitch is on this frame here. Hmm, okay, now it can sometimes be the fades. Uh, so let's just, just check that out. Now it's a uh, glitch, so. And I'll just press 10. Mm. Okay, now uh, I'm assuming it's fixed. Now, as you can see, this scene wasn't very good to work with due to the warps, but well, it should be fine. Alright, okay, so now uh, if you add uh transition on it uh it should be fine i'll just do that all right so uh once you add uh, effects it will look pretty good so uh that's how it ended up for me and now let's try ae twixter okay so for a twixter it's the same concept uh i've got well similar concept actually. i've got we have similar clips to before, but I chose this one because of the capability that he has pre sorry time remap on it. So, uh, I've already pre checked this, but what you have to do is you have to go uh, on a clip, you check after each big movement. So, there's a big movement here. So, you check after uh, the gap in between each big movement um, in terms of frame. So uh, I already checked this. So one, two, three, and moves again. So that was four. So overall, it's uh, three movements in between on average. So what you do is you right click and press pre-compose remove all attributes you can do this if you want um, so uh, i'll add um, my presets for twixter um, so what you do is you write 23.976 which is the original frame rate of the clip 23.976 and you write slash 3 because that's the gap in, in between each big movement so you pre-compose again and you add the twixt uh, one more time uh, but instead of dividing this time you put the original frame rate of the clip so first time what you do is you divide by the gap in between each big movement and the uh, second time you do the original frame rate so um, I got uh, this much to work with so what I do is I press Ctrl Alt and T to bring up time rim up, uh, replace a keyframe at the start. Now where you want to uh, it to stop, uh, say so you want it to stop, uh, like the the one that you're gonna use stops here. You're gonna place another keyframe and you move it to uh, you want the hold. You want the clip to change or you want the hold to stop. So what you do is. Um, first thing they do is you make sure to delete those frames because they're kind of annoying 
and uh, what you do is you highlight these two frames press F9 now if you click here it brings up the graph editor uh, if you hold alt and you scroll up it will zoom in now you highlight the bottom or the top to bring these two up or you can just highlight the whole thing and bring up the boundaries or volume to uh, the thing the rim up so what you want to do is um, you want it to go fast to slow so once again you want it to go fast to slow now in order to do this uh, you can do it really sharp if you put it all the way against it makes it really really sharp um, if you want it to be smooth this is how I do it I get it around um, I say that there's a gap here you put it halfway in between the first um, area so for example here uh, I put it around halfway up and you do the same for the second one but you put it down as you can see it goes really fast uh, slows down and goes fast again so if you come with uh, something like this so I just see it like this if you want it to be even sharper you can do uh, longer or against more against the walls or I'll leave it something like this now you don't know, always want it to be really sharp but since it's a song I'm going to do that Okay, so for the second clip, what you want to do is you want to pre-compose again. So I've already pre-composed it. Now you get your Trickster Pro, you drag it on, and uh, you do your frame rate divided by the frame, uh, the frame rate. There it jumps in between, so it's 23.976 divided by 3. Then you put the rest of your settings. Now what you want to do is you press animate on speed. Now uh, I need to put three keyframes for each for the actual see. So uh, at the start you want it to be a fast uh, speed. So we get a second scene and uh, what you want to do is you pre-compose again. Uh, I usually leave this one because I don't uh, use the whole scene. Um, then what you do, uh, this second method is a lot easier but uh, yeah, it's a lot easier but it's not as good. So you do 23.976 which is the original frame rate of the clip and you write dash and you do the frame jumps in between which is three. Now you put your settings in, and press it in hands, and for this one what you want to do is you click anime on speed. Now for this I'll do a speed like 2 minutes shift at the start, or 3 minutes start, go to the middle and uh, speed like 25, and then at the end 3 minutes again. Again. And uh, you, you should get something like uh, you, you should do a graph something like this. Now, if you if you don't have a graph like this, you may have to right click. Uh, so you might have a graph like this. The reason is that you're on the wrong graph. So what you need to do is you right click here and you write uh, and, and into value graph. So you should get something. Like now the reason that I put that. Um, Timing mapping is because you have a lot more flexibility with this. So you can see uh, it takes a lot, a lot more time just to decide on what values you want, just to make it look as good as as your normal remap. Uh, uh, timing map go mm, speed remap. Now I'm going to get more clips and remap the whole thing and I'll uh, show you what it looks like again. So after you remap many clips it should look like this. So just uh, as a note, um, I did the shakes and skills on 
SVP because uh, I'm not very skilled in terms of doing the skills and shakes uh, on after effects. And if I do an SVP and transfer it back onto AE just to show a final result with the AE remap. So when you've added your shakes and skills, it should turn out something like this. <laughs> So I hope you guys have learned something from this tutorial, uh, please comment what you want me to do next, like and subscribe, and yeah, this has been Akuma, peace.